uh, like an eggshell or something. Oh my god, there's loads of them. What the hell? Okay, that's weird. Hey gang, what's up? I'm ill. <laughs> Shocking. I know. I'm currently on bed rest, which is not fun in the absolute slightest. But you know what is fun? Getting packages. Uh, I got a delivery, so I thought I would throw on a little bit of makeup uh, and not do my hair because apparently this is what it does naturally now and show you guys uh, what I got. So I did a little bit of shopping from Happy Monday. Uh, Happy Monday is a brand that I have wanted to shop from, from like, I want to say age 15 because they had like an intergalactic like Kawhi Stella like interstellar cute like kawaii uh, dress is what i'm trying to get at a dress with like a little pizza pan collar and i wanted it for my 16th birthday like to wear to my party uh however that did not happen <laughs> don't know why i found something else i think this is a brand that is like i guess an amalgamation of lots of smaller content creators uh, content creators um just like fashion designers and clothing people uh, with their main focus kind of being like anime but J fashion I suppose but not so much in like the traditional sense where it's like colour blocking street fashion again just more kind of animation and that kind of stuff so there is some stuff from like Hello Kitty, Pokemon you know stuff I like um it took about a month to arrive and I will be honest, I looked at the reviews and people were saying it wasn't good and that it was a scam. Um, and I literally said to my mum, like, I don't think this package is coming up. My tracking hasn't been updated in, like, a week. Uh, and then it literally came that afternoon, so. Who knows? I'm really nervous because I've wanted to order from this brand for ages. I will say, though, it smells like, it smells really strong of some medication I had to stay on at some point. Um... And that's all I can smell and it's actually really overpowering. I'm really scared, I'm really scared. Because they don't offer refunds, which is kind of annoying. So I'm hoping I like everything and it will fit. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my god, it stinks. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. Okay. So what's this? Ooh, okay. Okay, so first impressions. Um, the tag? that says like happy monday on it is a little bit ripped which is kind of odd maybe that's what they're going for oh actually this is quite nice it smells very weird uh so it is this really cute little kurumi top i thought this was going to be more like a bralette which is why i brought it because these types of tops actually don't fit me traditionally or like they do fit me but they're not the greatest fit on me so one thing people are saying is that it's very stiff and it looks like it's ironed on and like it's movement wise it is quite stiff and it looks like it could rip but it's not that bad like it is mainly white outline and like the black is not part of the print it is separate like actual breakthrough material it's just kind of cool uh it's very thin and flimsy though i will say that um see-through as well by the looks of things but like it's cute i like it i'm impressed so far i did have to order uh email them about that though because i wanted a medium and they sent or like the only <clears throat> the only option was small uh so i don't know if that's a medium or a small because on my confirmation it says it's still small but there is no sizing on that actually not even like on the inside so it's made of that's kind of weird but it says happy monday handmade clothes with love in thailand i'm just not looking at anything oh okay this is really sweet this actually is way bigger than i thought okay um i did size up in everything so this is a medium because i assume they have the thai sizing and in fact it has an m in the corner maybe the other one did okay that didn't have size on Good. but this is the Wakamama Louboutins. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh my god, it's 
that's the bottoms okay so it is this white fake louis vuitton hello kitty um bikini there are no hello kitties on this one or this one actually what the fuck oh yeah there is there is um but it's like this little cute knockoff like louis vuitton hello kitty set there are more hello kitties on the bottom which oh fuck what the hell is that um so <laughs> i ain't going to the beach wearing this what the fuck okay if i want to wear this i'm gonna have to stitch the back up like what in the fuck um looking at it though like I'm, I'm not gonna wear this like, what the fuck okay i'm gonna have to do some sewing on that not that body confident but as far as the stitching goes it all looks pretty good um everything on this site is a little bit more expensive because it is all like individual designers and everything's handmade as opposed to like sweatshops and stuff this actually feels a lot nicer than the kurumi one purely because this like the print is actually inside the fabric so it feels like they got it screen printed as opposed to like just having it ironed on i feel like this will fit nicely the bottoms though oh bitch <laughs> i don't think i'll be wearing those much but i like them so far i'm really impressed i was expecting to not like anything <laughs> this is something i'm really excited about again this oh okay hmm this is really, really blocky. Is this coming across? It's really annoying that they don't do refunds because this will be going straight back. There was a stain on it, where is it? That looks like a fucking egg, what is that? Um, I don't know what that was. That looked like an eggshell or something. Oh my God, there's loads of them, what the hell? Okay, that's weird. This is a size medium. Right away I can tell that someone definitely made this because uh, like the stitching's not great on the inside but that's okay. But uh, I guess I'll show you it. I haven't really shown you it yet. So it is this gingham Hello Kitty little crop top. That's really weird. Why have they... Alright, whatever. It's stitched kind of weirdly so it should hang like this but because the straps slightly lower down it will probably flop over a little bit and it's really annoying because i don't know how well you can see this but this design is so blocky like only when it's super duper up close and like not all the coloring reaches the end of the design it's cute don't get me wrong oh i could wear it like that that's kind of cute i kind of prefer it like that <laughs> But you know what? A little bit disheartened, but it's still really cute. Yep, yeah, next up. This is one of the shirts I saw when I was a little, little baby emo bath. When I was like, oh, when I have money, I'll buy this shirt. And I fucking got it. It is. When I showed Joe this, he was like, oh, don't do it, don't buy it. And I was like, watch me, bitch. Um, okay. This might be the one that stinks, but. It is this Pokemon pixel crop top and I got this in a large because I really like the look of massively oversized shirts. Um, I'm not sure how this will look to be honest, it will look, I'm hoping it will look nice. Um, as you can see it's just got lots of pixels of some Pokemons. We've got Squirtle, Charmander, Skitty, Eevee, Snorlax, another Skitty, another Charmander. I've Fanfy, I can't remember, <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Pikachu, Gengar, um, I don't know if that's another fan, I think it is. Then we've got, who are you sir? I don't know who that is. We've got a Ditto, a Diglett. No, actually, oh it's a Badoo! Oh my bad, it's a Badoo. It's cool, okay, yeah, I like this. This feels thick or thicker like nothing from this brand is super duper thick um just kind of annoying like i don't know how well can you see my hand Ooh, spooky Ooh. <laughs> 
it is really nicely made though i will say <laughs> i will say that it is really nicely made um i'm really kind of excited to wear this i'm not even gonna lie like this was something i was regretting buying but now i'm suddenly very glad that i got eek okay this is really cute i don't know how i'm gonna wear this but like We'll find a way. It was something Joe was like, I swear to God, if you wear this around me, I will not want to be near you. And I was like, okay, okay. Uh, I showed Joe this shirt, like when we first got together. It was an extra, extra large. So let's, okay, let's tell I am a lover of the large shirts. And uh, this one is kind of like a good Charlotte reference. Straight away, just from feeling it though, I can tell this was just printed on, like an iron on. It's very patchy. There's um, bits where the thing's coming off. And I thought it was white text, it was actually pink. And it says, girls don't want boys, girls want memes and money. Basically, it is like a little knockoff of that. Do you know what? With my hair, I kind of love it. I feel like this would just be a really nice, big shirt to just vibe in, you know? Just chuck it on and be like, sup dudes. <laughs> just, I, I call it like a skater shirt, you know, just the kind of thing you'd see like a Y2K skater boy wearing, which is apparently my new aesthetic. I think it's the last one. Kind of sad, sometimes they send you freebies. I know I got a little email saying thank you for the order, like from the shop owner. This is the last item of clothing. Uh, shocker, it's another Pokemon item. Before I wear these, I'm gonna wash them all. Okay, this again was something I was like, am I really gonna wear this? And I was like, well, if I'm ordering from there and their shipping is this expensive, I may as well get everything I want now. Uh, so it is this, again, Pokemon pink shirt, which, you know, I do be loving pink. Uh, and it's got some pink babes. We got Corselot. We got Numa, I think. Oh, thick in the corner. This is Numa. Igglybuff, Mew, Wigglytuff, Jigglypuff, and Skitty. Fun fact, Corselot is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. And again, these have got really weird stains on. Like, it kind of, they look like bugs. I'm not gonna lie which is really concerning and i'm definitely gonna wash these <laughs> like i know i've already said this but definitely uh before i put them on my skin there are no washing instructions for these so i assume they're fine to just chuck in a normal washing machine like again this feels like it's screen printed on uh not screen printed yes screen printed into the fabric which is nice instead of like the memes and money shirt where it just felt like it was ironed on um which is a really interesting way of doing it it shows not how low budget it is but like how handmade it is like it doesn't seem very professional just to have it like that when you can have it screen printed like this it's the same fit as the other pokemon shirt and i'm really hoping it fits me and it looks cute um I don't know if I'm going to do a try on because I am tired and my throat hurts and I've been talking for like 20 minutes so that means it's nap time again. This is the most I've been out of bed in like two days. That was everything I got from Happy Monday. Overall uh, I'm impressed. Firstly the fact that my stuff arrived, uh, it was all the right size, it was all very pretty, it was all very cool, uh, it was what I expected bar the bikini bottoms um shockingly they didn't show that side of the model for like for obvious reasons but <laughs> i don't know i expected it to be a little bit more full coverage um that's no bother i only really wanted it for the top anyway i thought maybe like i could take that to, with me when i go to festivals or something and just chuck it on and then call it a fit you know, call it an outfit. Um, yeah. Uh, I would say they're a very good website. Obviously, it's a little bit more expensive because you are buying directly from the people making it as opposed to like fast fashion. But I'm trying to move away from fast fashion 
just a little bit more um try and be more sustainable or think more about like the purchases i'm making um and like i spent a lot on getting these items because it's a brand that i wanted to buy from for ages um i will say though that through doing some research i found that the majority of their items are stolen signs which is really disheartening and i know the louis vuitton hello kitty design isn't something they've originally come up with however things like the memes and money shirt uh, is an original concept of theirs, uh, just from a very quick little Google search. And it's like the Pokemon pixel art, uh, that obviously is their own creation. Uh, I don't even know if it's official Pokemon license, probably not, so watch your bag. <laughs> Happy Monday. Um, but overall, I'm super duper impressed. Like, it's really good quality. Not as good a quality, like, as what... Oh, <laughs> Yeah, it's really good quality. Um, I'm really glad I bought all my items. I don't think there's anything I would return, except maybe the gig and pink shirt, but you know what? <laughs> now that I've got it, I'm definitely gonna find 101 ways to wear it. Um, so yeah, let me know if there's any other small brands you want me to shop from. I've already got one brand that I've got my eye on, which is called uh, Inux, Linux not like the internet server, like Enix, um, and I really want to shop from them, but A, I have no money, and B, um, I want to wait, I want to wait a little bit before I order anything else, because I have been ordering quite a lot recently, so, um, thanks for watching, bye!